Okay guys, these are the five most common mistakes people make in any physics exam. So I have marked a lot of physics papers in my time and I see the same mistakes popping up over and over again and it's really frustrating because my classes will tell you I nag them over and over and over and over again. I make them line up and we go through their units and it's really really sad, really sad. So my first thing, the first mistake that people make in a physics exam is not knowing their units. This could be a whole separate mark in the exam. Your formula sheet is going to be useless if you do not know your units. So please, 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 most importantly, learn your units. The next thing is problems with rearranging equations. Now this is a math skill that we've brought over into physics and it confuses people when we do that. It confuses people when we try and get too mathsy in a physics exam. Because physics is kind of like math but with loads of concepts and loads of words in there. So you need to have your math skill sorted. So rearranging equations, your standard and index form, all of those need to be really, really good if you want to get those top grades. So my next two errors are very, very similar because it's all about your calculator. So the first one is just taking your calculator at face value because remember your calculator is a maths tool. Now if you put a fraction into the calculator and it comes up with that teeny tiny little dot above the number, that's a reoccurring symbol. Reoccurring does not exist in physics. It's something that exists in maths but does not exist in physics. If you write down a number that has a reoccurring symbol above it in maths but you should have rounded up or rounded down then I'm afraid you've written down the wrong answer. So carefully look at what your calculator is telling you. Think about it. Am I in a maths exam? Am I in a physics exam? And remember, reoccurring does not exist. Round it. The other thing to do with rounding is remember to store your numbers in your calculator's memory. If it comes up with a really, really long number and then you write it down and you round it, clear your calculator and then put the number back into the calculator and use that in a further part of the question, you may have caused what's called a rounding error, where you rounded the number too early and it's led to a mistake later on. So please, any really, really long numbers, store them in your memories calculator and use them after that. Now my fifth one isn't anything to do with numbers or units or equations, it's words, keywords. Definitions are so easy to learn, so please just learn them. They come up a lot in physics and they are easy to learn. Get your flashcards out, get your Quizlet app out or however you want to learn things. Post-it notes all over the place, writing on your mirror. These are great ways to learn keywords but please, please, please make sure you learn the keywords and make sure you use them in an exam. Using lots of keywords makes your answer sound more sophisticated, makes it sound more sciencey. So the examiner is going to think it's at a much much higher level than someone that hasn't used any science words in there at all. So those are the five most common mistakes I see when marking physics papers. Not using keywords, not using the memory on your calculator, thinking that reoccurring exists because it doesn't, not being able to rearrange equations and forgetting your units. So please go away and practice all of those things for me right now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to deal with the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.